Do you have a, a star on the Walk of Fame? I think so. I bet yours is nice. I have a spotty memory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
oh, is he listening to make sure I, I'm getting every word right? right? You know, yeah. you get so... Just another paranoia to throw <laughs> yeah, in the background. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But no, um, I, I, it's the most I ever studied before a project. Like, I, I got the script. We didn't start shooting for, like, maybe five months after. And I, I would study my lines every night. I never did that before. Just every because I didn't want to let the guy down. Aww. And I didn't. And I, I would do the. My wife was playing every other part, and I'd lay in bed and go blah blah blah. And she'd be like, "You almost got it. You almost got it." Oh and wow! It, it just took took a while um, to to just make it that it's effortless, but I didn't have to think too hard. Yeah. And then uh, how about how about how about you? What's your process with that? I don't. I I don't really ever memorize either. Mostly just out of laziness and boredom. I like when I come home, I want to like watch TV before I go to bed. I don't want to sure, like read sure. the script. All right, so right. normally hair and makeup's like two hours where I can't go anywhere, so I right. just use that to memorize. But Mother, I didn't really have a choice because we did a three-month rehearsal process at you a did? warehouse in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. Yeah, and so uh -huh. you know, and the dialogue didn't really change much, so I uh -huh. ended up memorizing it. So That's, I guess in a way that was the most I've that was definitely the most I've ever that prepared. That rehearsal for stuff because we also we did about a. Yeah, maybe a month or a month and a half of rehearsing, which you don't get to do a lot. That that does help so much. Did you think it helped? Well, it helped me in feeling and getting tighter and tighter with the cast. It helps with the group. That's yes, what I keep yes. saying about it. It's like it helped the movie. Yes. It didn't like really help me. You mean I didn't, it, it, you, it takes away some spontaneity or? Not really. What? I mean, maybe it did, but... Um, it, it was mostly just, I just didn't find the character yet, like in the, in the rehearsals, because oh, it's right. such an odd right, character. Right, that's true. And she's so different from me, uh -huh, that if right. I tried to say any of the lines out loud, it just sounded really weird. Right. Um, it, it wasn't until I got on the set in the house, because I think, in a, I think the house and I are kind of one organism, so uh -huh. for whatever reason, when I got in the house, yeah. then everything started changing, but none of that happened in the rehearsal that's process, that. but we talked about the movie, to a nauseating extent, and the characters and the yes. themes and what it all means, yes. and we all got on the same page. Right, right. So it helped the movie. I bet uh, Darren was uh, the more and more he heard it out loud. Did he did he, ma did he make changes throughout the process, or, or is it just he made like, like he, he made all you guys more connected with the material, or was it? It made us connected. I mean, we we changed more like, you know, timing on stuff because it's it's such a um, what is it called with music? Well, a cuck not a yeah, concussion. A, what a, is that? A, a, yeah. A cacophony. cacophony. Yeah. Can I pretend growing. I came up with that? Okay. A yeah. Cacophony. It, it's like a cacophony. What is that word? Cacophony. Is <laughs> what you're looking yeah, for, cacophony. Jen. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, <laughs> that it was more kind of like the structure of how everything was going to grow and land. The dialogue. I don't uh -huh. really remember the dialogue changing much. Right. Right. It's right. It's weird that there's even dialogue in the movie in a weird way. Yeah. It's funny. Um, I, I'll tell you what really got me the first time I saw the house. He, he waits a little while to pull back and show the house, right? Yeah, it's, and it's, it's an like, octagon. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. That shot so cool, by the way. What have you done? I'm so sorry. We're both sorry. I was telling her the story. It just, just, it just but, fell out well, of my hands. We'll, we'll search and find we it another one, I promise. Quiet! Um, so you are a comedian, right? Um, As are kind you. Kind of my favorite comedian. What? I'll, um, I'll take top five. <laughs> Put you, me in the top five. But you, um, but you also have done amazing dramatic performances. Worked with amazing directors. Yes. Uh, P. T. Anderson. Sure. Noah, what sure. is more challenging for you, getting up and doing stand up without writing any jokes? Oh, that's or awful. Or that's the worst. Drama. Um, I think. I think what happens, like you said, I've worked with great guys. When I'm with these great guys, you know, I, it's it's kind of relaxing in a way, knowing that they're not going to move on until they're happy, and mm -hmm. and that 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 helps knowing that you trust them so much. And I feel I feel excited doing a movie like that, doing a drama, or or uh, whatever, whatever you want to characterize it as. I uh, just different than what I usually do. I, it's an exciting feeling. I'm also, you know, not the most comfortable, but uh, I, th I know that's a good thing to come and be uh, nervous. And but um, I, I don't know what I, I. There's nothing I like more. I like doing it all. It helps you in a dramatic role to be a little insecure. Well, maybe if it makes sense to the scene, it does. But yes, yeah, it's, it's, I. 
I, I, I don't think I'm ever insecure an entire shoot. It's when I first start, I don't want to let the uh, guy down. You know, like I remember with Noah and Meyerowitz, every two or three weeks I'd call him up and I'd say, uh, I think I figured out what you want uh, with this character. And in my head, I was, I'm like doing a different voice and doing a, some sort of thing. And you were, the, you were a totally different character. Uh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a character performance, I, I thought. I was. I, I mean, I've never a, met you, but. <laughs> well, it's different than what I've done for sure. I think, and yeah. I, tr I tried, but I, um, but it wasn't necessary. That wasn't the guy I had throughout the process. When I would call him up on the phone and, and think I figured it out, and he would kind of guide me into saying that's not really <laughs> what I was <laughs> thinking, man. Uh, but uh, how about you? When you first, when you're first starting, a, like like the character you play in, in Mother is not what you've done before not what I've seen you do before uh, and was how, how do you land upon that in the rehearsal process or no it wasn't in the rehearsal process we got or maybe it was kind of it might have been on like either the last day of the rehearsal process or um, I remember what scene it was it was it was um, we were rehearsing either in Montreal or in Brooklyn I can't remember but I, all I remember is the words coming out and sounding different and then me going that's her uh -huh. um, it was the scene where there are two people in our bedroom and I say, this is our room, you have to leave, yeah, you have to yeah. get out. Yeah. And Darren was like, what are you doing with your voice? And I was like, I don't know, does it suck? Is it embarrassing? <laughs> and, I, and I don't know what uh -huh. I was channeling or like who, I would, like when I was doing Winter's Bone, I just remember like, chan I don't want to say the name of the woman because it would obviously deeply offend her, but there was like one <laughs> woman who I had in my, like just the idea of like the most gross, like, like person in the world. Right, right. And with, with, Grace is what we called her on. Um, it's kind of the opposite. I don't know, but I remember the words coming out of my mouth sounding different. And then when you start speaking differently, and then you start moving differently, and yeah. then yeah. and then that helped me pick out the wardrobe and the clothes. Right, yeah. Because I knew how she would move. A, that feels good. The, the right wardrobe always connects you more. Yeah, it's weird. And it also helps you get rid of it at the end yeah. of the day. Yes, yeah, that, absolutely. That was the first time on any movie I've ever. Normally they call <clears> cut, and I'm like bored. I want to, you know. Uh -huh. I get on my phone and yeah, yeah. this was the only movie that everything kept sticking with me. Yes, and then yes. as soon as I got out of the clothes and got into my own clothes. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. It's funny. I, I do um, a lot of times when I've done, uh, done different kind of movies like, you know, like Meyerowitz or uh, whatever I've, I've done. I, I'm, I'll have friends call me up and say, you, hey, you were doing me or you were doing that. <laughs> you really? were, and they pick a guy that like you were kind of doing so and so I'm like. Oh no no I wasn't but that's uh, there is. Do you ever life. steal things like from real life? Yes from, yes yeah, yes. I steal stuff too. Absolutely absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah stuff that yeah in fact I get so excited when I go oh man that's gonna work and that's the yeah. stealing from from something that happened or someone I know yeah. He has some wealthy clients who are coming over someday to look at the dad's work. Matt does? Apparently they're both admirers of mine. We never hear from him and then suddenly poof. That's not true. Matthew and I correspond quite frequently. He texts with me. You guys text? Uh, about what? I don't know, things. How are you? How are you with the, uh, re do, do you read any of the reviews or any stuff about your performances? Um, not really, only when they're good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's no, more No, I don't, relaxing. I've never really, normally like I, you know, I promote a movie, you put the work into like promoting it, mm -hmm. ask people to go see it, and then it's just kind of out of your hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's, I normally just kind of let it go. Um, dating the director was different. Yeah, yes, yes. You know, it's like we'd be on the tour together. I'd come back to the hotel, and the last thing I want to talk about or think about is a movie. Uh -huh. He comes back from the tour. That's all he wants. He, that's all he wants to talk That's about, and right. I get it. It's his baby. He wrote yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conceived it. He directed it. So yeah. I was doing double duty of you know <laughs> trying to be a supportive partner uh -huh. while also being like, can I please for the love of God <laughs> not think about Mother for one second? Oh, so man. and then he would start reading me reviews, and then I finally was just like, it's not healthy. Neither of us oh, are, are wow. doing it. Wow. We're not gonna do it because if I read it, I start getting defensive, especially because like it's my man, and you yes, know like yes. I'll, I'll oh, start. And I don't want to sound hits. like in an interview that I'm defending what we're doing in any way. Like right. it's, it's it's awesome what we did. Some people yeah. hate like, and the people who hate it really hate right, it. Right, right, right. But I don't. It's it's nothing that needs to be defended. And if I read a negative review, I just feel defensive. That's funny. It, there is nothing. Nothing that movie is so doing something that I haven't seen before. 
and ha and has not there's nothing to hate about that. It's, it's it was brand new. It was it put you change your state of mind. I was just watching and watching and couldn't stop watching it. And I know everybody watching that movie is feeling the same thing. And I love there's no music in the movie. It's just no, so haunting no and weird and and uh, but yeah yeah and it, well, as it progressed and the amount of people in the house and the stuff that was going on and it was uh I, I don't know how the hell you guys shot that much by the way there was so many things yeah how long was that shoot um it wasn't actually that long it was like I, two months i don't know how oh, we yeah. got so many things going on that night with it. it was like the giant club party and everything was going yeah. on and there was literally uh just i mean we would take our first shot would be like a master in the morning that would take us to lunch uh -huh. Our days were just crazy long because yeah, it's yeah. 300 people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, where did you guys shoot? We got to shoot in Manhattan a lot, and you know we shot. Uh, did you really shoot in the Berkshires? Or? No, we went up to upstate, upstate New York, cool. and then we went to a, a college campus to shoot uh, Bard, but it wasn't Bard. I forgot, uh, forgot the name of the school, but but. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, we and I love being in Manhattan. I and I love. I kind of. I went to NYU and all that stuff, and I grew up in Manhattan a lot of time. Spent a lot of time there, and I uh, it was amazing. Got to shoot in. Uh, I've never shot in New York or LA. Really. It's so weird. Well, I love to shoot in New York. You're gonna that that'll happen. That'll happen. It is it is an amazing. It's amazing. But yeah, you you do like getting out of the wardrobe and going out at night in New York. That's a problem. The next morning, you're a little more swollen than you should be. Right, right, right. It's never like like today. <laughs> <laughs> you landed, you landed on your feet today. You came out all right. So, how do you deal with criticism? Do you read negative reviews? Um, I when I first when I first got when I was when I did Billy Madison, I Oof. that stop looking at me, Spawn. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for bringing back the good old days there, Jen. But I um, I read some. And I hated it a lot. I was, I was, first couple, I was like, whoa, what the hell's happening, man? I, I thought they were gonna be right with me and like, hey, yeah, yeah wow, this, this was such a great time. I loved watching it, but, but it was so. Uh, you wanna stay home and help me shave my armpits? <laughs> <laughs> Juanita, yeah, that was a good lady. She was uh, that 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 actress, Teresa Merritt. <laughs> she was a fun she woman. She didn't love saying every line. We had to talk her into a few um, things. By the way, every time I'm at the pool in the summer <laughs> with my friends, we always say it's too damn hot for a penguin to just be walking around. <laughs> See, Jen, thank you. I wish you wrote some of these, uh, yeah. hey, these reviews. No, it's so bizarre because like, you're so in the zone. You put like your whole yeah, yeah, soul yeah. and like body and you move like to shoot a movie like you do all of this yeah and then you love it obviously you wouldn't be there if you didn't right, love it right 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 and then people just oh, destroy yeah. it oh yeah yeah they it come sucks. in and try to rip it apart and then yeah. so i did stop reading them after that one because i it didn't make sense to me and that and i screwed screwed my thinking up a little bit and then and uh you know when we were writing the next one me and my buddy, we were very uh, like, uh, you think uh, they're gonna hate this if we do this? And then we started saying, what's the difference? Yeah, it's not man? healthy. Yeah, let's just do what we do, and uh, and we believe in it. What was your next one after? Was Happy, Happy Gilmore? Gilmore? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And we, you know, we loved it, and we were young, and it was exciting. And uh, I think that's I did stop reading them after that. Now on a case, you know, like Meyerowitz is, get, gets nice reviews, and and um, good ones. Good, great. That's I just have them emailed to me, so I don't oh, you Google know, myself. I, because I you just, know what I realized yeah. with like Googling myself, I went on like a little tangent like a few days ago uh -huh. because everybody was like giving me compliments about like the Kimmel thing. Everybody was like, it's great. Uh -huh. So I was like, this is like a safe time to be uh -huh. bored and like Google uh -huh. myself, right? Uh -huh. yeah, I and then I just got slammed with anxiety and it wasn't even everything. I, I was only reading positive things. Right. I probably just Googled like, I love Jennifer Lawrence. I don't know what I Googled to only move. get positive. <laughs> but it was all positive and I got slammed with anxiety and, I, and it, it's because it's not healthy to realize how many people are actually looking and listening to you. Uh -huh, like uh -huh. that is such a mind fuck. That's true. It's like you're standing on stage and then, and it's uh, the whole audience is in the dark. Oh yeah, And then they yeah. turn the lights on for a second and right. you see how many people are looking yes, at you. Yes, yes, that's And like it didn't good. even matter that it was positive. It was just the idea that it was yeah. that much attention. Right, like, right. 
It's yeah. not normal. Oh, that's yeah, that's terrible to be thinking like that. You you start you start checking everything you're saying and thinking. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you want kids? Excuse me. <laughs> I saw how you reacted earlier. <sighs> I know what it's like when you're just starting out and you think you have all the time in the world and you know you're not going to be so young forever. Waterboy, I watch for whatever I watch it every day when I came home from school for Waterboy? Mm -hmm. What well, did you you didn't tell it mama was I was playing foosball, did you? <laughs> you okay. She doesn't know. <laughs> so, so what lie because you were a huge part of my our language, my brothers and I talking to uh -huh. each other as quoting your movies. So what line gets quoted back to you the most? From, from, uh, from Bobby Boucher. Oh, I would say, uh, they, t they talk to me about, uh, you know, Bob Barker a lot, but I I'd say from, uh, from the water boy, which maybe out of all of them, I hear, uh, um, what is it? Uh, mom, uh, mom, mama says, no, not mama says, it's, uh, oh my God. I'll be able to help you if you just. Thank you. I, I'm trying to get to it. Uh, uh, because I remember Dr. Dre said it to me, man. I was laughing. Oh, my this God. This was like, like 20 year, That's years ago. That's a moment. That's so. like when Woody Harrelson told me to slow down, Jen. This isn't Jamaica. When I was like 21 or 22, and I was like, oh, my God, I just outsmoked Woody Harrelson. <laughs> <laughs> it was like such a big That's moment. That's funny, man. <laughs> That's very tough, by the way. I've been around that kid. Um, um, anyway, I can't remember right now, Jen. Uh, I can't either. But, uh, yeah, but I do hear about I do hear about. The, I liked the when your other. mom was just telling a, a story like at the dinner table in Waterboy, and she goes, "1770 or 1976 oh, pick pickup sticks." <laughs> that's, <right. laughs> that's, a, that's funny, buddy. Me and uh, Hurley, the guy I write the movies with, that, that was our favorite thing too. Which is he an actor? And would, would I recognize him? Is He's he the guy a, with a fucked up eye? No, that's my no. buddy Lochran. Does he really have a fucked no, up no, eye? No, no, oh, no. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, he puts has to put that contact in every time we write him into a movie, and he's like. Dude, do I wear the contact? And we're like, yeah, it's probably funner if you oh, do. Oh, God. Like, yeah. I've tried to wear contacts for That's... movies. I can't. Nobody can touch my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That hurts, especially in the morning when you get to the set. What, what, now... Under any circumstances, yeah, 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 nothing yeah. touches my eyeball. No. you got very light eyes. That's the problem. Us people with dark eyes can handle a big finger inside them. Oh. Um... <laughs> You, you, you Is that it. something you like? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's a new, <laughs> new thing. The wife, to that? <laughs> yeah, the wife and I have uh, been dabbling with eye, <laughs> with eye, eye, eye touching. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You remember that song I wrote about that guy who worked at your studio who you never remembered his name? His name was Byron, but you called him Myron. Three times you called him Myron. Okay, what was I mean? If I, my whole family are your biggest fans, yeah. but who are who's been your biggest fan encounter? Not including myself. Uh, you know, I get I get uh, every day some love on the streets. I get I I get happy. Do you like that too? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, it makes makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I don't need anybody but those people. But because uh, <laughs> they're the ones who really know you. Exactly. Connect me. <laughs> the, 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 by the way, the mother, the mother movie. When I was watching uh, Javier, I was saying this is very similar to me. And I they, think it's much worse for comedians because yeah. everybody just you look at they, you just assume they're your best friend. Yeah, that's I I, I have that that uh, thing when I'm out and at uh, eating and stuff. People do pull up a chair more than I'd say. Yeah. You get that too though because you're, no, you're, you're not, very... No, it's not as bad because I'm not, I'm not a comedian so I'm not... But you're I famously uh, light and approachable. Oh, thank you. Um, that, that... Well, I just generally, um, once I enter a public place, I become incredibly rude. I turn into <laughs> a huge asshole. You get icy? And that's, yeah, and yeah. that's kind of like my only way of defending myself you is just being... Put the blockade yeah, and Yeah, just be an asshole. Ahead. Like see somebody walking towards my table just go... <laughs> or like, can I have a selfie? And I'm like, no. Um, that's like my only defense. So I don't really have it that bad. One of my best friends is Amy Schumer. She's a comedian. Yes, yes. She like I can she, I take my dog to the park all the time to Central yeah, Park. Yeah. As soon as I meet her in the park, it's it, bananas. We're fucked. Well, because she's it's, a it's, massively friendly uh, to, to yeah, the world, right? Yeah. One time um, we were passing somebody, and and they were like, "What was that movie that she just had out? Snatched." 
Uh, yeah. said, somebody passed us, and they were like, Snatched was amazing, and I just went, thank you! And like, I totally <laughs> meant it. Like, I didn't hear what the girl said, and I was like, thank you so much. She was like, wow. <laughs> what a coont. <laughs> uh, it was about you. That, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, was, yeah. that person was just trying to yeah, find I'm their sure way to talk to you. she was just talking about my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, and 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 uh, and have, yeah, I'm, we're, we're, I don't I don't shut them down. Uh, I do. Oh, you know what? My new move has been that works all right when it's a older uh, guy, a guy my age wanting to take a picture with me. I say they go, hey, yeah, I'm gonna get a picture, and I always say, yeah, you don't want that, man. And the guy goes, what? And I go, you don't want that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I don't. Wow. It kind of works, because I say, well, you don't want to walk. You don't. Need, what are you gonna do with it? You know what? Sometimes I do. I go, it's my day off. <laughs> like if it's Sunday, I'm like it's Sunday. I, I'm not working today. You're good. Yeah. You're good. No, I I sit them down. I feed them. <laughs> let them get hang out with my kids. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't. Uh, I got you. I think you're making the right move. You got a lot a lot of life left. See, my life's nearing the end. Right. I, I you're wanna, in the winter of your I'm life. Very so very I deep in there. I want to meet as many people as I can. So you're right. Yeah. Soak it all. You got a lot coming. <laughs> and let me, let me no, give let you go of me. Why? Because I don't know you. <laughs> Get down from there. From where? But you see, you should, because you don't know what I could do for you. I don't want anything from you. Sassy. Leave me alone. So somebody like Paul Thomas Anderson asks mm -hmm. you to be in mm -hmm. their movie. Right. I mean, did he come to you directly? Did he have an, a, a character in mind that he thought you'd be perfect for? Did you guys meet? How did that work? He, he, he... I was doing those movies back then, you know, Billy and Happy and all that stuff, and Wedding Singer, and and he uh, he he was shooting Magnolia with uh, Tom Cruise, and Tom Cruise called me up. This is when I was young, man, and uh, he called me up and uh, said, "Hey, Adam, I I want you to talk to a friend of mine," and they, I guess they were shooting at the time. And Paul got on the phone. And he said, "Hi, I, I like your movies and stuff," and I said, "Oh, cool, man. Nice nice to meet you." And he did Boogie Nights. I didn't. I didn't see Boogie Nights yet, and he he shot that already, and, and it was out, and everyone loved it. But I just for some reason I didn't have time to see it. And uh, he said, I I, "I I like it. I'd like to make a movie together." And I said, "Okay, man, that sounds cool." Uh, and then I hung up, and uh, I didn't really know what that meant. But um, then all my friends were like, "Oh, that guy's great, man." I was like, "Whoa, well, yeah, yeah, I gotta go see that Boogie Nights." And then I saw that, and then I saw Magnolia, and I was like, "Holy shit, this yeah, guy's unbelievable!" So and then, what's uh, the best thing a director can like do, like an actor's director? Like, what's the best he, thing he can do? I guess just give you the confidence to to go as hard as you can. It's funny with Noah. I I went I I in that scene you mentioned with Ben uh, when we're fighting. I was in the, in the script. It wrote, "We get emo very emotional," and so like I was like, "Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get very emotional for him." And and, uh, and I had I had a lot of stuff going on in, in my life during during the making of the of uh, Maya Witt. So I was ready for all that stuff. And and in the first take, I was pretty upset and going at it and crying and doing all this stuff. And I was like, "There, yeah, I did it for him." And then I remember him going, "Yeah, you know." You don't have to do with it so much. Oh my God, that's the worst. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a weird note, one. Right? Like, uh, too right, much. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, a little bit. I guess I, I and I said, oh, okay, man. And he and he said, no, we got that's good. We got that. And let's try a different version. And and then that and I and because I I trusted everything he saw about the movie, I was like, okay, good, good. I don't have to do that again. I'll do what he wanted. But that was a day I kind of. I was excited about it and I also was dreading and I was nervous about it. I, I hope I get it. Because when you see something in the script that says emotional while crying, blah, yeah. blah, blah, he's doing this. I, you, you've never seen a guy this mad. You're like, oh, shit, I got to go. Yeah, I got to bring it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you? How about you? Um, I think the way I, I like, I, I grew up doing sports. I don't know if you Yeah, yeah, sure, sport. sure. I, I just, I need, I mean, I, I need everybody in my life to be this way, but especially with the director, I just want it to be straightforward. Uh -huh. I don't like, you know, because I know that so many directors work with actors who are like emotional landmines. Right, and right, I don't right. know what to, sure. but I find it so much more confusing oh, yeah, when yeah. you're trying not to hurt my feelings. Right, than to right, just right. Say, say, this is what yeah, we want here. I mean, like yeah. David O. Russell one time, like, I, I did a scene and he was like looking at the monitor, he's like, do it again, but like with no bullshit. Like take all the bullshit, like just too much bullshit. Uh -huh. And I was like, got it. Yeah, 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 that's great. <laughs> like it's just, it's yeah. like a coach. 
like that's so harder, great. faster. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, I respond man. better to that. Absolutely. And like, I feel like in this scene, like your character yes. is, you know, also because like I'm severely ADD. So by the time they start talking oh, yeah. about like a backstory or like what she's <laughs> feeling, I'm like, right. <laughs> <laughs> snoring. That's funny, man. Yeah, I'm like, so do you want me to like talk louder or softer? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like very technical notes. I like that. I, I'll take a line reading. I'll say, yeah, yeah. But you yeah, I'll take a line me, reading. Yeah, Who gives say, a shit? <laughs> what were you thinking? How did, how did you, how would you say it? Yeah. By the way, Noah, I'd say, how do you, how would you say it? He'd say it. I'd be like, God damn, that's fucking good. He's, oh, really? He did it better. He did it better every time than I ever got it out. <laughs> And I remember, they can edit that part out. Yeah, yeah it's, I hope so. I remember uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, when he was shooting the movie, he saw it so much in his head. That's, that's nice that, like, he'd be watching playback and he'd kind of say, hey, I think you need to do this. He, like, heard the music. He heard it all. I think that's so, so comforting. That is. Like, they when give a you the rhythm. director has such a specific vision that's so scary when you're on set. Yeah, they yeah. don't know what they want. They don't know what they don't want. You had that with Mother, right? You had that. That seemed yeah, like that a lot confidence. of rhythm. It seemed like Darren knew exactly what he wanted yeah. in each shot and the timing of it all. And yeah. yeah. You just had to surrender to the whole thing. How about you? What, have you done any auditions? You haven't done um, that in a while. The last thing I auditioned for was either Hunger Games or Silver Linings. Silver Linings, I did like a Skype. Oh, really? Kind of, yeah. Audition In costume thing. or like? No, yeah, I, I Skyped. And originally she was goth, so that would have been <laughs> really hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, I, just, I, I think that was probably my last audition, but then I ended up meeting David and Philly, and he, um, I, I Heart Huckabee is one of my favorite, probably my favorite movie. Oh, wow, man. Um, I just, there's something about it that is just so exactly my humor. Uh-huh. And David doesn't didn't like to talk about it because it wasn't like a good time in his life, uh -huh. and I just couldn't accept that. I'm not oh, somebody wow. who can like listen to <laughs> someone's cues and that's right. You know, I just blow right through, kind of like that Miley Cyrus song about smashing walls. Yeah, you can't. You come um, in. You so come in strong. He, yeah, and so he didn't want to talk about it anymore, and so then I proceeded to act out the entire movie for him from like Naomi Watts going come down to Huckabee's <laughs> and doing the whole thing. Uh -huh. And then finally he started laughing and then he was like, okay, maybe that movie wasn't so bad. And uh, then he told me I had the job. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> what was the last thing you auditioned for? Because you write all your shit. Yeah, that's why. I think You that's... auditioned for SNL though, oh, I watched your audition. Yeah? Yeah, shit. it was no. on the DVD extras. No, no, it can't be, really? Because I yeah. fucking was doing stand-up. I did stand-up. Yeah, I know, I watched it. You shit, you can, they got you that? Can look I gotta it up. see that, oh no. I was young and fucking yeah, very. Have you always done stand up without without writing with writing no jokes before? You just no, go up and do no, it. No, 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 no. I've I do that. I've done that. It never lands right. I, but I started when I was seventeen doing stand up, and, it, wow. and when I did that shit of just going up with nothing, it always went bad. So I <laughs> I'd go up with some jokes ready to go. Yeah. To fall back on, and I I my, I haven't auditioned in so long, um, and that really is. A huge part of writing my own, my own movie, so I didn't have to audition anymore. I think auditioning is the most fucked up thing to oh, do to God. somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hand someone like four sheets of paper, and you're like, act, yeah. monkey. Yeah, I know. Like, it's like, I, I mean, I don't know how else you're supposed to know if someone's good or bad at what it's the person's necessary. seeing. It's necessary. It's necessary, but holy shit, yeah. it's rough. And I never got, I got a commer I got a Mastercard commercial and a Oscar Mayer commercial from auditioning when I was back back in the day. But Oscar not, Mayer, wow. Oscar Mayer didn't I, didn't air, but it was yeah. good. Fucking great meat, always yeah. always good sandwiches and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah.